Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I got this Disney Maleficent makeup look from the new movie. The first thing that I'm doing is priming my skin and I'm going in with my Touch and Soul No Pore Blum Primer. I'm patting this into my skin wherever I want to make my pores look smaller, mainly in my T-zone area. And then I'm going in with my Becca Backlight Priming Filter on the rest of my face to give my skin a nice healthy glow. Next, I'm going in with my Makeup Forever Camouflage Cream Palette in the shade number 5 and I'm concealing any areas that I have a little bit of redness before I go in with my foundation. Now that I've concealed, I'm going in with my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Fiji and I'm just dotting that all over my face and then I'm going to blend that out with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. For concealer, I'm going in with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and I'm just applying that where I normally would apply my concealer under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. I also applied a little bit under my nose as well because I have some redness there and on my smile lines because I want to make that area a little bit lighter. Once again, I'm just blending everything out with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. To set my face, I'm going in with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I like this more than the original Laura Mercier Translucent Powder that everybody loves because it's a little more finely milled and I feel like if you have more normal to dry skin, you will like this a little bit better because it doesn't tend to get as cakey. But if you do have more oily skin, then I would recommend the original powder. And I'm just applying that using my beauty sponge again. And my sponge isn't super wet, it's a little bit damp, but not too wet that it'll disrupt the foundation or anything. And then I'm taking my e.l.f. blush brush and I'm just patting that in and then sweeping away the excess product. To prep my eyes for eyeshadow, I'm going in with my P. Louise eyeshadow base and I'm just applying that all over with a Real Techniques brush. Now going in with my Tarte Tartlet Amazonian Clay Matte Palette, I'm using a large fluffy brush and applying the shade Super Mom all over the lid. Now, using a Zoeva blending brush, I'm applying some of the darker shades from the palette into my outer corner, and I'm applying Natural Beauty, Dreamer, Multitasker, Wanderer, and Power Player, and I'm just blending that out in circular motions after patting it down first, and then in my crease, I'm using Natural Beauty and Wanderer, and I'm just buffing that out in swiping motions as well as circular motions until everything is seamlessly blended. For my brow bone highlight, I'm going in with the shade Super Mom and then taking a small fluffy blending brush, I'm applying the darkest shade in the palette Fashionista and just applying that halfway in and along the lash line mostly, a little bit in the crease to kind of give it a really smoky effect because she had a very smoky eye look going on in the movie. The liner that I'm using today is Trooper by Kat Von D. This is the tattoo liner and I'm just going to give myself a little teeny baby wing. She didn't have any kind of crazy wing going on in the movie, but she did look like she had a little bit of eyeliner. So this is also going to make everything look better when you have lashes on as well so that there aren't any gaps and it gives you a more cat eye effect. Using a small flat definer brush, I'm going in with more of that shade Fashionista and I'm just lining my lower lash line with that. Now using a small dome shaped brush, I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line using the same colors that I applied to my crease and this is going to make everything look a bit more smoky and blended. And then I'm taking my Anastasia Pro Pencil and using that on my waterline. Before I apply falsies, I'm going in with some mascara, and this is the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. Angelina Jolie's lashes in the movie were pretty natural, so I'm applying some Ardell Demi Wispies as well as some Ardell Wispies, and I just stacked those together. And then I'm using my Callus Eyelash Glue and some tweezers to apply them. 
Now I'm taking my MAC Giga Black Extended Play Mascara and I'm just applying that at the base of the lashes. I never take this all the way up, but just at the base, that way it binds the natural lashes with the falsies. And then I'm applying a little bit on my lower lashes as well. She didn't look like she had a lot of lower lash mascara going on, so I'm not getting too heavy handed with this, but I'm just applying a little bit. In order to create that extreme cheekbone and contoured look that she had going on in the movie, I'm using the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. You want to be very heavy handed with this because we are recreating a movie costume look and not an everyday makeup look, so it's not going to be natural. You want to apply a lot of contour and I brought that down just to make the face look more thinner and sucked in because that's kind of what it looked like to me from the picture. And I also rounded out the cheekbones a bit because she had very defined high cheekbones. Once I kind of applied where I was going to draw out the contour, I went in with a lot more shadow and just made everything more extreme. I brought that down a bit as well and that kind of makes it look a little more three-dimensional as opposed to just having a line sitting on the face. Then I went ahead and took a large fluffy brush without any product on it and kind of buffed out the front of where I applied that contour towards my mouth. That way everything looked a little bit more blended and the line wasn't as harsh. And then taking another large fluffy brush with some of the white powder from the palette, I went in and highlighted my cheekbones. I also used that highlighter shade on a flat concealer brush and tried to make the cheekbones look a little more defined and I ran that right at the top of where I contoured. When you highlight, it brings that area forward, so this is going to help make our cheekbones look more like they're coming out a little bit further and give them some more light and dimension. I also applied a little bit of concealer on a small concealer brush just to make the cheekbone line look even more sharp and stand out even further. And I added even more powder on my cheeks just to make them pop even more once I was done with that using the white highlight shade from the NYX Contour and Highlight Palette as well as a white eyeshadow. She had a really pretty red lipstick in the movie. So for lips, I'm going in with my MAC Cherry Lip Pencil and I'm just lining my lips with this. And I'm also making my Cupid's bow a little more defined than I usually prefer to do because it looked like her Cupid's bow looked a little more defined in the movie. And when I finished lining my lips, I just shaded it in my outer corners with that because I like to shade the outer corners with my lip liner before I go in with my lipstick. For lips, I first went in with the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Merlot and then I applied some of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade American Doll to the center of my lips and blended those together just to get the perfect shade of red. This is also going to give the lips a little bit more dimension as well. Then going back in with my MAC Cherry Lip Pencil, I'm creating a more defined line down the center of my lips and then also a few more lines as well to look more like Angelina's from the movie. It didn't look like her lips were super glossy in the movie, but it did look like they had a little bit of a shine, so I just added some of my Anastasia lip gloss in the shade Date Night on top. And that is the completed look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up down below, that way I know that you liked it, and I can keep creating more content like this for you guys. Also, subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and make sure to click on the notification bell, that way you get notified every time I upload new content. I really loved the Maleficent movie, and I just had so much fun recreating this look for you guys, so I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I also want to know what you all are going to be for Halloween, so please let me know in the comment section below if you are dressing up what you're going to be, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Happy Halloween! Bye!